We are now ready to fill the Mazaki shockers with the suspension fork oil and I have prepared a little measuring stick which has marking for 45 millimeters of oil level from the top to the inner portion of the stanchion so I'm going to fill the oil right to this level inside the stanchion itself this is based on the um, recommendation for a hundred millimeters travel of the fork. I'm going to prepare the suspension fork oil and I'll fill it up. As we fill up, we will be moving the extension up and down as we go to make sure that the oil actually gets to enter the lower section of the um, fork itself. So based on the recommendation, I've uh, actually used a 5W um, fork oil. So I'm going to pour it into a measuring cylinder. So the fill, filling is not by volume, but by measuring of the height from the top to the top level of the oil as we fill up. So now I'm going to prepare the oil. At this current moment, I'm not sure how much oil do I need to use. So we'll fill... I'll now slowly fill up the extension with the fork oil. As the filling is taking place, bubbles will start appearing because bubbles actually from the bottom section. So what I need to do is I need to actually pull up the extension as I fill up the oil. And you can actually hear air bubbles coming out. So that's the oil inside so I'll now compress back again you can actually hear the popping sound of the air one more time so it's the sound of air bubbles at the lower section actually see the vapor going onto the camera lens so one more time okay so I'm going to continue filling up the oil until it's about 45 um, millimeters of oil Okay, so that's about that's about forty five millimeters of oil. And put a dipstick in there. Let's measure. So that should be it. Okay, we have the oil now at the end of the stick. So that's sufficient now for this side of the extension. So now I'm going to proceed to fill up on the other side. Now that we have confirmed that the oil is sufficient on the right side of the extension, we will now fill up the, the other side of the extension. So similarly, we fill up the oil. As you can see, the bubbles will appear. So the bubbles are actually coming out from, as I said, the bottom section. Then we slowly lift this up. And you can see the oil gets sucked in. 
and we press it back down again and we check the level so now the level oil level is slightly below where we would like it to be so i'm going to check it again so we just need to fill up just a little bit so now we can actually feel more resistance because um, now we have two sections filled up with oil and one more time So we check again to see where the oil level is. Looks like it is more oil. Now that we have both of the extensions and oil filled up on the right level, we are now ready to cap up the two sides with the air valve cap. Firstly, we will lightly grease the o-ring as shown. Then we reinsert the cap, the air valve cap. You can tighten by hand all the way in. Then after that, we will use a um, 21 mm socket to tighten up the top section. Okay, that's it. The now the oil is filled, the valve cap has been reinstalled. We can now clean it up, then we will pressurize the two stanchions with the pressure pump. Now that we have ready secured the valve cap, both sides left and right, we can now use a one of these uh, high pressure bicycle shock pump. So we will pressurize this up and as we pressurize this we will be able to see the um, top section of the fork itself lifting up as the pressure builds up at this, uh, at this air column um, that we have seen just now as we fill up the um, shock oil so I'm going to um, pump it up as you can see, I'm going to do a 50-50, 50 PSI, 50 PSI both side for a start. You can see the tension is now rising. So at the same time, we can check to ensure that there's no leak leakage coming from both the new seals to confirm that the seals are all working fine and no oil is leaking out from the um, new oil seal inside and also from the dust seal. So now, I'm going to remove the pump and I'm going to move on to the other side. We will do the same thing for 50 PSI, similar to this side of the extension. So at this current moment, you can see both sides are actually expanding. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to release the air pressure by pressing this button. You can see this extension actually drops. So I'm going to repressurize again. 
and you will see this tension rising. Okay, so one more time, I'm going to depressurize it by pressing the button here. You can see this tension drops. So I'm going to put it back up to 50 psi. After that, we can mount back this fork onto the bicycle and test out to see if the shockers are now back into operation. Okay, so now I'm going to release this and I can remove the pump. And finally, we will cover up back the dust cap over the shredder valve. And that's it. Done. We have finally completed the um, rebuild of the Mazoki MXC 2002. Um, fixing the problem of the leaking oil seal on the on this side of the fork so now both looks okay no leak and the pressures are back in you can actually see press in and this all seems good we will now take this put it back into the bicycle and we'll see if it works fine okay Finally, I've got the chance to reinstall the Mazaki Bomber 2002 MXC Air front suspension fork back onto my bicycle and I really can't wait to test it out on my local bike trails and um, now it's winter, it's a bit cold so maybe this weekend, if the weather gets better I'll probably have to go and to check to make sure the oil seals are working and also the dust seals and also the new suspension arm is good and the bike is working properly So I hope you have learned something from this little how-to video and picked up a thing or two and some knowledge for your own suspension uh, servicing. If you like to receive notifications and updates on new release or video from Uncle Salis Project, please do like and share and subscribe to Uncle Salis Project so that you'll be updated when we release our new, new videos or new content. Okay, and thank you uh, for your time and thank you for watching the video till the end and I'll see you soon in the next video. Okay, take care and bye-bye.